Hi sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. Kay here from At Home with Kay. And I'm so excited today because this is part of a collaboration with my sweet friend Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and May from Craft Away with May. We are doing a spring fling. We are doing spring DIYs because spring is in the air and we all can feel it. And we're so excited about it. I'm gonna have their channels linked in the description box below. Please go down and check out their videos also. So here today in this DIY I'm gonna do, um, I have these Dollar Tree picture frames. And as you can see, I'm dry brushing some white chalk paint on this frame and then I had those Dollar Tree stickers and and these are those stickers that are kind of raised and they they almost look you know 3d like they're coming off the paper or something but I thought those were so pretty and I'm just going to cut them down to size and put them inside of um, these frames here the the stickers are so pretty if you ever go to Dollar Tree and you look at the first of all they just have fantastic stickers at Dollar Tree all of them sometimes I stand there for 10 minutes just looking at all of them but these are a cut above the rest if you ask me because they're just these beautiful little scenes and I think they are beautiful inside of a frame well today is Valentine's Day also so I want to say happy Valentine's Day to all of you out there and I hope you had a fantastic day Now this is what it turned out looking like after I put it back in the frame. I got these felt flowers from Dollar Tree and um, I love the colors of them, the pink, you know, that's me, I'm a pink girl. And I put those on the corner of the frame. I didn't really like the brightness of the green leaves though. Even the dark one was just a little too bold for me, but I just left it as it was. I probably should have just added the flowers and not the leaves, but oh well. And um, I just hot glue them on the corner of my little frame and then you're gonna see in a minute I'm gonna take some pearls and just put those in the center of the flowers just to give it a little bit more bang I guess <laughs> now I want you guys to be sure when you're done watching my video to please go to the description box and check out my friends channels crafty art check and craft away with May. I tell you they are some fantastic crafters sometimes I look at the things they create and just how they work and how they bring it all to life and I want some of that to fall on me I really do <laughs> okay so here I got these two little pieces of a truck from Dollar Tree they're just little there's not really wood I forgot what you call it but I got two sides because I want to turn this into a whole truck and this styrofoam you see here with these holes in it does anybody know what that is well I'm gonna tell you it I got it I got it out of the garbage at my job it's just a little um, piece of styrofoam that had those um, blood draw vacutainers in it and I just got it out and used it when I was putting away supplies so I'm like yes I'm gonna use these I can use this for something <laughs> so I just cut it in half and I'm using that styrofoam to make um, something for my truck to hold on to so and with the styrofoam in there I am going to create a beautiful just a beautiful blossoming truck So I took some extra pieces of wood that I had gotten from Dollar Tree and I just cut it down to size and I'm going to close in the front of the truck and I'm also going to do the same for the back of the truck. So now I'm going to take some Waverly um, chalk paint and I'm going to paint a layer of white on the entire truck before I begin to add the color that it's actually going to be. I'm just going to do a thick coat coating of this white paint. Thank you. 
just a quick reminder, this is a collaboration and I want you to go to the description box and check out my sweet friend's channel, Charlene at Craft the Art Shack and Craft Away with May is my sweet friend May. So this collaboration is called a spring fling. It really feels like spring here. In Michigan, I mean at night it gets down in the 20s, but during the day it's been like in the 50s. So it's like, hey, spring is on the way. <laughs> so here I thought my truck was looking kind of plain. So I wanted to make some of those, some of those things. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. I can't think of what they are, but they're usually on the top of a tire, you know, and the tire is like in there. If you know, you know what I'm trying to call it, is it a, a fender? I don't know. But just say it in the comments below so that I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to make some of those out of these little, this was a plastic tray I used to paint with. And I just cut some of those little pieces off and I'm going to hot glue those little curved pieces over all four of the tires to create that little thing that I'm trying to create. So I just take a little line of hot glue because that's all it needs because that plastic is pretty thin and I just hold it there gently until it adheres to that wood surface. Maybe those things, maybe those things are called fenders. Maybe that's what it is. Is it? <laughs> I'll have to Google it when I'm done. <laughs> So here I'm just going to finish up with the other side, same thing, a little hot glue, adding the plastic there, and then holding it until it adheres to the surface. It was a little, the plastic was actually a little bit too short, but you can't really tell, so I'm just going to roll with it. <laughs> and now I'm going to add my paint color. Now you, as you can see, of course it's going to be pink. And the colors that I chose to use are um, the Apple Barrel. Well, this one is um, Deco Art and the color is Melon. And then the Apple Barrel one is, digging over here to find it, but I don't see it. Um, it's just a light um, pink color and I just love it. It goes well with that Melon color. And I'm just blending both the colors together. I'm doing kind of a little technique that I learned from Charlene, where she puts one color on one side of the brush and the other color on the other side, and then it just makes this nice blend or shade of coloring. Um, I'm not good at it, but I'm trying. I'm trying over here. <laughs> And these items, when I make them, I'm going to put them in my dining room on the shelf. Um, maybe I'll show you guys after I get it all down there and, and set up. I'll show you what it looks like. But um, I like to use pink and stuff in my house and my decor. That's just the color that suits me. And I love it. My bedroom is pink. <laughs> so I'm going to put these down there. And maybe one day I will show you guys what it looks like. something else I hope one day that I get the courage and that my skills get good enough that I can sell some of the crafts that I make 
Um, I think that would be a fun thing to do. I know that May actually does that. Sometimes I've heard her say that. So I just think that's just so awesome to have to be that confident in your work that you know that someone can tell you to make me this and you make it and you sell it to them and they just love it. That's what I eventually want to do also. <laughs> So next I'm going to add a nice good coating of black paint on these fenders, that's just what I'm going to call them, these fenders that are over the tires and also on the tires and I'm going to do that on both sides. I'm also going to do it on that front piece of wood and that back piece of wood that's joining the sides together because you guys know my love for Mackenzie Childs and I'm going to paint that check pattern that courtly check pattern on the back and front and on those fenders. Okay, so now I got them all painted, all four sides, wheels, so now I'm going to add um, my checks on here. And I'm just going to go around and just add the white on there. Um, sorry too that the way that I'm holding this, you aren't going to really be able to see me do too much of this. I apologize for that. I really love Mackenzie Childs. I really love the courtly check. I honestly think that's my favorite. Um, do any of you like that? And do any of you have any of their pieces? My daughters from Mother's Day one year bought me a, um, a, a coffee cup. Um, it's their that stainless steel one. I just love it so much. It's hard. I'm I'm I don't think it's a coffee cup because when I put hot things in it, the rim of the cup is too hot to even <laughs> put to my mouth and drink with it. So I usually just have to put cold things in it. And then most of the time when I'm not using it, it just sits there in my decor really. <laughs> So I'm going to finish painting the checks on this little truck and adding the flowers and I'll show you what it looks like at the end of the video. So next I got one of these cute little houses from Dollar Tree. Um, they have the black and they have the white and I chose this one that's white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint it and then I'm just going to add some things to it. I'm going to paint with the same color paints that I use for the truck because this is all going to be like a little set of items that I use together.
at first I was just gonna do a little like a dry brushing look on here but that wasn't going over too well so then I just decided to just add a nice little coat of paint um, just alternating between the two paint colors that I like Now I'm going to just take a little bit of gold and go down those cent those uh, little ridges there because I got paint in there but it didn't completely cover so I'm just going to fill it in with a little gold trim. And now I'm just going to sand off a little bit of that thick color just to kind of give it that farmhouse look again. So next I got these um, four small, I was about to say test tubes, but those aren't test tubes. <laughs> those four little jars I got from Dollar Tree um, in the Crafter Square. And I'm gonna make like, the, 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 I'm gonna turn them into little, a little flower vase. Um, I was just trying to decide, was I gonna put all four, but that just looked like too much. And then I thought, you know what? I'll just put one in the corner there and um, that would be good enough. I was going to put it in the middle and that looked kind of odd. I felt it looked better um, with the one on the side. So I'm going to take a little bit of my jute twine and I'm going to, where the rim of the little bottle, where the cap was screwed on, I'm just going to wrap a little jute cord around there and hot glue it and just do a little wrapping and then you'll see what I do with it next. them from the wood and then just use one piece of wood but that was too difficult and I didn't want to break it so I'm just going to take some wood glue and a little hot glue and glue these together and then paint them with my favorite colors again.
pretty and for the antenna of my little butterfly I used gold and I'm also going to put gold down at the bottom on those four pieces you guys know what I love butterflies you know what I did one time I bought um, a butterfly I bought some caterpillars a kit off of Amazon and you put the caterpillars inside this little um, it's like a little tent thing they give you and they actually went into cocoons and they came out as monarch butterflies and then after a few days I got to let them go that was just the most one of the most exciting things I've ever done <laughs> I tried to do this side like the opposite with the lighter pink at the top and the melon color more at the bottom. <laughs> but I think it's pretty either way. I love these two colors together. I am totally excited to see the spring creations that Charlene and May have come up with. I know they're going to be fantastic and I'm just going to be blown away like I always am. <laughs> so be sure to get over to their channels guys. And here's that reminder again. Check out the description box for Craft Away with May and the Crafty Art Shack. So next, um, this is a sign that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, I painted it already, but at, before it was, um, you know, just wood on the on the rim of it. So I painted it with my two favorite colors again around the edges. And then I got this welcome sign out of the um, spring garden section at Dollar Tree also. And I added um, some of the paint to the boot into the flower pot and then in that little garden pick right there at the end by the E and then what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my black paint and add a little water with it so it almost looks like a stain and I'm gonna paint it on the letters and then kind of wipe it off with a with a paper towel just to give it the look of stain and then those flowers there that you see I'm gonna stick those flowers on there just to to give it a little bit more pizzazz. <laughs> I love this sign and I love how the how it turned out in the end and I love that I used the, the black um, staining look on the letters. I've never done that before myself, but I love the how I did that and I love that combination with that melon color and the pink. Um, also, I, I'm probably gonna use this sign on a 
a wreath. Maybe I'll make a wreath and hang the sign from that. I don't know if the sign will be too big though, but we'll just try it out. But I think that will be a beautiful thing to hang on the front door of your house. I'm trying to think like May here. She she just continues adding things to her projects and it just turns out so nice. So I'm just trying to add some other little objects to this little sign to make it pop, to make it look fantastic. <laughs> And these little flowers have a little sticky part on the back of them, but I still added hot glue because I wanted to have, you know, that double hold on there because I'm going to be hanging this on my front door. So now I just decided to add a little dimension to the, the boot and to the pot and to that little handle on that little garden pick there just by brushing a little bit of white paint. And it fit perfectly so next I'm just gonna take some dabs of hot glue and I am going to hot glue the welcome sign to my wooden sign there and I will show you what everything looks like together all completed at the end of the video And here we are at the end of the video and here is our little blooming pickup truck our beautiful blooming Mackenzie Childs Duke pickup truck and as you can see I did the Mackenzie Childs check on the front and on those those fenders there over the tires and I just stuck all kinds of little flowers that I got from Dollar Tree oh and these beautiful pink and gold butterflies I put that on either side and I just add a little greenery and just stuck it all down in that in that styrofoam and here is the picture frames I added a little pink over the white that I had done just to tone it down a little bit and see here's my little sign my house I added those butterflies and I put one little flower you see that inside of the little vase there I love that <laughs> and I also added um, the word spring those are those wooden letters from Dollar Tree I just painted them gold and there's our other little picture frame you can see there and here is our beautiful welcome sign I think this turned out beautifully now this see I feel like this I would I could sell this that's what I think I think I did that good on that I'm proud of myself <laughs> and here is our napkin holder I love it and these pretty napkins oh wow these are a set of napkins that I got from Dollar Tree I love those that's so pretty that could be decoupaged on top of something something 
I love how all of these turned out. And one more time, I'm gonna show you um, our little truck here, the other side. Man, those flowers are really popping out. I might have to cut some of those back. <laughs> but I think this turned out nicely. I'm so excited that you guys were here today with me. Please check out the description box below for my sweet friend, Craftway with May and um, Charlene from Crafty Art Shack. Check out their channels. Um, everything is linked in the description box below for you to find that. Um, I'm so excited that I was able to do this collaboration with them. I hope you guys love this and that you'll go over there and tell them that you came there from my channel i'm so excited and remember to always be kind to yourself and always kind to others <laughs>